Hey guys, and welcome to an all new series. This series is called Will John Rage Quit? This is an idea I've been kicking around for a while. I had a few different names in mind for it, but in the end, I realized something about myself. Um, unlike a, a lot of YouTubers you might see, I don't have it in me to just really ham up the rage when I play a game. Usually, I stay rather relaxed, then I start to get pretty quiet if I'm getting frustrated, and then occasionally I'll have a lol rage moment where I just totally, you know, go crazy. But, basing a series around rage in general probably wouldn't work for me. But rage quitting is something that I'm guilty of with a few games in my game library. And this is one of them. This is Indiana Jones and the Emperor's Tomb. And what we're going to do here is we're going to play this game until either I rage quit, or for the first time in all the years that I've had it, I actually beat it. Without further ado, let's do this. So, as you can see, I this is a take two. I started a... a run of this and um i didn't rage quit <laughs> but i uh had an issue with the recording so that's uh that was pretty annoying so anyway what we're gonna do is we're gonna name it quit this time whoops uh in an effort to convince myself to stick it out and not be a quitter. <laughs> it's going to be sitting there staring me in the face. Quit, quit, quit. And I'm going to be like, no, I refuse. Whoops. I don't like how <laughs> you move the letters in this. It's kind of annoying. But anyway, so yeah, this game is... Hold on a sec. I think I was a little bit too close to the mic. Anyway, this game is pretty frustrating. I'm not going to lie. There are parts of it that I love, and there's parts of it that I truly hate, and I think there are even parts of it that you can mess up so bad that you have to start over. I could be wrong about that, but I found myself in, in, in spots where I could not progress. And uh, that is definitely a rage quit moment. <laughs> oh gosh. According to the map, that stone head marks the secret entrance into the lost city. Beyond the city lies the temple of the Black River Goddess, and inside, the idol of Kuruwatu. I'm close now. Okay, so a quick rundown of game mechanics. There is a wonky camera, which more often than not will get you killed. There is... Uh, your supply of weaponry, you have your gun. Uh, the canteen is what you heal with, but you have to keep it filled from the fountains that you find throughout the levels. And there's a map, and of course, your whip, which you will use to swing across gaps, or to fight things, or to pull things down, etc., etc. And you can punch. Uh, it's funny how like the X button is the left fist, A button's the right fist, and then you chain them together for combos and stuff. Or you can grab by pressing both at once. Uh, that's that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, you jump with B, which is that's kind of a thing for me. I don't, I never feel natural if jump is an A when that's a possibility. But oh well. Anyway, <laughs> let's uh. Let's go over here, basically Zelda style, if you push up against these things you climb, but you use the jump for the higher ones, and of course jump across gaps and stuff as well. There is a secret right over here, which I accidentally discovered for the first time um, in my take one that did not air. 
There is a treasure over here. There are treasures scattered throughout every level that you do not need to progress the story, but will give you a higher rating at the end of the game. Fortune and glory, here I come. Yeah. And, um... I think they unlock, like, concept art or something. I'm not really sure, but I'm not going to be worrying too much about that. I've never gotten past, like... I want to say the 75% part of the game, point of the game. Maybe even shorter than that. Maybe even like 50. But, um... So, 100% of the game is the last thing I'm worried about right now. Hey, yep. Okay. We got it. <laughs> Let's see now. What's going on around here? Um, so, yeah, I'm not going to spend too much time... Right, uh-huh. Uh, too much time worrying about, uh, okay, there's the, the fountain, by the way. Now, water to fill with, up with the fountain, if you, you press the button to fill your canteen, and it's already full, uh, you can just heal yourself right here. Uh, if you, you know, are away from the fountain, of course, like it says, you can drink from the canteen until it is empty. So we need to get through here, but he needs something to cut through the vines. And so we're going to have to make our way up. So yeah, the controls in this are wonky. Um, some things work well, other things not so much. It might seem silly, but I'm just going to go ahead and replenish that health. Because... Um, might find that you'll need every bit of it, but you see how he kind of like jumped at an angle there? It was simply because the camera continued to travel a bit to the side, lining him up decidedly on the straight. So you kind of have to plan that out a bit, uh, which isn't always actually possible because, you know, um, you're sometimes you're in a hurry. Whoops. I'm trying to get this lined up as well as I can. Hey! There we go. <laughs> Sound effects help. Um, I'm not going to lie, the first take of this I did, I fell from there three times. So the rage was already starting to kick in a bit. Anyway, this guy's got a machete. And it's our machete now. Uh, the cool thing is, you'll see that it hangs from the belt. Other items that Indy picks up along the way, he will... Uh, like sometimes sling across his back or whoa hello okay falling apart around here um okay holding the right trigger while walking off got it thanks much appreciated go ahead and drop down um but anyway yeah kind of a neat touch uh let's see so, when the, there's an icon up there, you can just press Y to pull out the appropriate item. Uh, other times, of course, you'll have to go through the D-pad inventory. I know I sound super knowledgeable about this, but um, I'm not. Um, Alright, so this part is where it gets a little tricky. Because sometimes you have to be right at the edge to pull that off. And if you're moving forward thinking that it's going to work, like if you're in a hurry, um, it can be the death of you, or the frustration of you at the very least. But so far, so good. Okay. Anything around here? Doesn't look like it. Again, I'm not going to spend too much time looking for stuff per se. But, uh, if I see something that looks like it might have treasure in it, I will, uh, give it a look-see. And now for our first encounter. No Boy Scouts. I better watch my back. Yep. I'll try my best not to talk over voice clips, but they're kind of few and far between in this game. So I'm not, uh, too worried about missing anything. Um, what I'm gonna do is get this out and then 
This will speed up the cross. Ow. This will speed up the process of killing this guy. <laughs> awkward death scene is awkward. Alright. Let's uh, cut that. That will fall. And here's a guy. Oh man, I was trying to do the grab. Oh, I can't with this stupid thing in my hand. There we go. Grab, throw. If you throw them off, you know, ledges or into things, you're more likely to do a damage. Okay, let's go ahead and break this. And we got some revolver ammo. The ammo is so few and far between in this. Oh my gosh. It's uh, it's kind of frustratingly so. And I'm just going to top this off because I know there's a fountain not too far off. Uh, but yeah, I'm not going to use my guns until I absolutely have to. Um, it is just not worth it. Okay, so here we have a shovel which can be used as a weapon. And uh, I fully intend to do so. Anything there? No. Alright. So there's going to be two guys here that are going to want to fight us simultaneously. Uh, I don't think that I can get up there before they see me. I don't know, actually. I actually have not... Oh. Keep that just in case. Can I push up against this wall and them not know I'm here? No. Okay, never mind. I was hoping to drop that box on their heads, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. Okay, does he have a gun? No. They have bottles. So I'm just going to beat the crap out of them with a shovel. Nope, not yet. Have that. Okay. So they're dead. Um, you can pick up the items that they drop. They can pick up the items that you drop. Uh, anything from this chair to the bottles. Uh, if they have a gun uh, and you knock it out of their hands, they can uh, come back and pick it up or their friend can pick it up. It's, uh, it's a thing. Alright, let's uh, make sure there's nothing in these. Did I break my shovel? I did. Those, oh, ow. Those only last a certain amount of time. Um, okay, so I came from there. Right, I need to go up here now. Come on. And... Make our way through. Now again, this is all going to seem very walkthrough-ish and mechanical. Just because I just played this uh, two days ago this section uh, but uh, we're gonna get to the point where I'm gonna get frustrated don't you worry <laughs> but again deciding that the whole oh I'm a rage and our murders thing is not for me um, I'm not gonna like I'm not gonna act like that just for the sake of you know making a video I might goof around and do stuff like that uh, you know, with my friends and stuff. And then sometimes I do genuinely rage, but I'm not going to fake it. Whoop, okay. We got a sidle. Do some Zelda style sidling here. Okay. Now, let's get as close to the edge as we can. And away we go. Perfect. Um, so, there we go. And there is a treasure piece. And I guess I'll go get it. Ow. I'm gonna be a rich man. If I ever get out of this alive. Right. Anyway, so I will BRB because I need to go through this whole jumping thing again to get back up there. Okay. 
But yeah, just to reiterate, uh, oh yeah, I can't break those. Uh, just to reiterate, this series is to see how long it takes me to rage quit or to see if I can overcome these games that have made me rage quit throughout my life. And uh, we could even have some fun with it. Here in this first episode, in the comments, you can vote. Do you think I will rage quit? Uh, if you know this game, or if you've seen someone else, you know, LP it or whatever, um, you might have a better chance of, of answering that. But, yeah, feel free to vote. Uh, will John rage quit? <laughs> uh, I'm hoping not, but I'm I'm betting that about... 60-70% into the game, I will rage quit. But we'll see, and then after that I'll start another game that I hate. No, I love it and hate it. Um, okay, I know that's gonna break. Uh-huh, cracks in the floor, you know. Uh, yep. But uh, that's probably the end of the first episode. I'm just looking at the time on my recording. So hopefully you've enjoyed, be sure to vote. Let's just keep that on the first episode, just judging so far, just to see how many of you get lucky and pick the right answer. And who knows, at the end of the series, uh, maybe I'll reward those of you who picked right. Um, we'll see. But anyway, I will see you guys next time for more. Bye!